Hi, everyone. Happy New Year. Uh, welcome to More Than Organized Monday. Uh, today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what happens when you're in the same place you were a year ago and you're still overwhelmed and what to do about that, how to keep the momentum going. So happy Get Organized Month. Um, it's actually Get Organized and Be Productive Month now. Um, it's scheduled in January to take advantage of people doing their resolutions and setting new goals and all that new energy. Um, it just helps people get uh, everything all together, um, build on each other. And it's, it's an interesting time of year because getting organized is actually one of the most frequently set New Year's resolutions. Get organized. I'm going to get organized this year. Uh, it's one of the top five, actually. And um, I don't know why, but it rarely happens. Uh, it takes a lot of work to actually get organized. And part of it is the all or nothing mindset that we set when we set resolutions. It's why most resolutions don't work, because you set the goal as uh, this generic, all-encompassing thing that's going to make things better, but you don't necessarily do all the planning steps to get to where you want to be, the desired outcome of having that goal achieved. So I want to help you figure out a little bit of how to make it easier and better and not be in the same place again of feeling overwhelmed and like you need to get organized again next year. So some, some of the things that are helpful in thinking about that are adapting a be better mindset about the whole thing. Um, and it, it just, we have to think about how many times have you actually stated this goal before? Are you trying it over and over? And how, how come you haven't succeeded yet? Chances are it's the planning part. There's many steps. I found most of my clients do two to three of the five steps. They don't do the other two, and then they wonder why it didn't work. You have to do all of them to get the results you want to, to be organized for the rest of your life. And that's what I want you to do, is to be organized for the rest of your life. Because it's all about your mind, how you think about it. It's not so much about the stuff. Um, we all have periods of time where we get a little bit disorganized or stuff piles up. Um, you may have seen my video last week. I was a little bit ill over the holiday and things piled up. I did not get back on track. I'm still not quite all the way back on track. So it's more of a knowledge that you can get back on track fairly easily when you feel better, when the interruption is over, if you will. Um, so we want to talk about planning. Oops, I just hit the wrong button, sorry. Um, we wanna try a different way of looking at getting organized. And if you think about it, there is an actual proven method. There's several proven methods out there for getting organized. But it is, again, a mix of five or six different steps, uh, depending on which system you use. I use the Streamline system. I created it myself based on my clients' needs and working with them over a long period of time. Um, and it's just five steps. You gotta do all five of them though. You can't just do the, I'm gonna go buy some containers and put the stuff in there and then I'll be organized. Nope, we gotta take a holistic approach. You have to fix your mind so that you can fix your stuff and your space and then you get all the benefits of being organized for the rest of your life. So we've talked about some of these before, so I just wanna recap a little bit. So you, those of you who have not seen this before get um, a little bit of an idea of, of what I'm talking about. You have to have a vision of what you want your life to be like. And then you have to have an awareness of what things are needed to make it that way. Um, and of time itself, how long things take um, and what you are currently spending your time on. Uh, then you have to have some really strong questions for making the decisions. You have to know the right questions to ask yourself to let go of the stuff or to decide which is the best stuff to keep. And decisions take practice. So there's a whole step about decision making and knowing how to make the right ones and how to practice them so that they sink in and become automatic behaviors, which leads us to routines. You have to have routines set up for maintaining the work you already did. The hard work of going through your stuff and picking your favorites, you have to then know what to do to keep it that way for a long period of time. So that's part of the Streamline system. Um, it's all coming up 
um, in the Streamline Your Life program, which is going to be happening again in February. Um, and in the meantime, if you want more information and uh, other ways of of uh, connecting with me and seeing some of my suggestions, you can visit morethanorganized.net and see your options there. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Happy Get Organized and Be Productive Month, and I will see you again next week. Take care.